you? Well, first, we haven't got a broken society. What we have got, and I think probably always have had, is a very small percentage of people who are people who've dropped right through the bottom, who need very often, well not always, help. And the rest of society is as cooperative and committed to voluntary action, to supporting each other in families, to looking after neighbours, as it's ever been. And if you look at the monster size of voluntary organisations, uh, big and small, local and national, you'll see that this is about the least broken society in the world. We do tonight in a, mar in a margin. Uh, are you surprised at how small the difference is between the Victoria and the Labour? No, I'm not, because I've anticipated, sometimes with greater public confidence than private confidence, I have to tell you, but over the last 18 months, nearly two years, I've said that the Tories are going to start to get a tough time when people start to ask them questions in the run-up to the election. Uh, they got away pretty much scot-free for much of that time. In recent weeks, they've been asked questions, especially on radio and television, that they haven't been asked before and to which they have not got answers. Uh, they became so self-confident that it was going to be a breeze that they didn't work out policies or even where they did try to work out policies they've had to contradict them as they have on tax, on marriage, on cuts, on green policy and a host of other central issues. So under examination they are flopping. So this is what we interviewed out the camp which goes to be called political heavy lifting. Do you feel they haven't, they're not doing that? They haven't done the political heavy lifting. Mr Cameron uh, talks about bringing change, but actually what he's going to bring is chop rather than change. And in addition, he hasn't changed his party. And so consequently, even when he drifts near having a specific policy, he's always in danger of splitting his party, because the backwoodsmen and women object uh, on Europe, on his green policy, on his tax policy or absence of it, and a host of other issues. Uh, on which he's simply not taken the initiative and done what every party leader has got to do, and that is to shape a party that is fit for the present and preparing for the future. He hasn't done it, and that's really starting to show now. Where's his place in Labour history? Oh, it's a, it's, a, it's a big place, isn't it? You know, Neil was the leader of the Labour Party through some of the darkest days, not just the Labour Party, but for this country when Margaret Thatcher was Prime Minister. And there are days in many ways many would like to forget, but during this election campaign, I think we need to remind people of what it was like in those difficult days. But uh, Neil has been an inspiration to us in the Labour Party, and those days were difficult, but there were many times when Neil lifted us and we carried on fighting because it was the right thing to do. And do you, so you feel without those speeches regarding Merseyside and Bills and Tensi and Taxis, you know, without all those, those key moments, we're going to be at the back where you are today? Well, there's those key moments, clearly, but there's other key moments. And I remember when the speech that most sticks in my mind was, I think, coming up to the 1992 election, he said, I warn you not to be ordinary, not to be old, not to be young, not to be sick, and how true those words were. And I think it's that kind of thing that lifted us, saw us through, and made sure that we had something we really believed in to fight for, of a different kind of society than we were seeing under the Thatcherite Tory years. So, uh, and I've just made reference to the, the Broken Society advert just around the corner. So you think in re relation to that 1992 speech, it's relevant today in 2010? Most certainly is. Yeah, society isn't broken. There's some individuals that you could say are broken. It's not a term I would use or I like. But society as a whole, we just have to look at the work that's ongoing. I'm Minister for the Voluntary Sector, for Charities, the wider third sector. And I see people doing the most amazing things. Society was broken. They wouldn't